Hi, it's Jamie with UK Extension and I'm up at the UK Arboretum to talk about a small fruiting bush that we get lots of calls about and that would be the blueberry. I have a love-hate relationship with blueberries personally. I love to eat blueberries, but most people who have tried to grow them would tell you, oh my gosh. And the problem is not in the blueberry plant, but rather our soils, our heavy clay soils and the pH, which is not at all what blueberries would like or prefer. In nature, they would grow in a very organic, often boggy situation, but with good drainage so that they do not tend to dry out. They're very fibrous rooted. But if you really want to try blueberries, they're not outrageously difficult if you can get around the soil issue and the pH issue. So minimally, I would suggest for your best chance, you build a raised bed, such as the, the, like we've got here about six to eight inches deep, might even be as high as a foot deep here. Um, this is amended soil, so it's been modified through the addition of organic matter and other things to be a little more favorable. And you can probably see here, it's still not perfect. This is about as healthy a blueberry planting as I have seen, but I do notice some telltale signs of some dieback and some other things that tells me even these, as nice as they look, are not functioning 100%. So some things to keep in mind, soil prep is key, and I'll be be honest with you, growing your own fruit is not as readily done as people want to believe, particularly fruit trees. Most fruit crops have fairly high management issues and a lot of challenges regarding wildlife. Even if you are lucky enough to have beautiful blueberries like this, if you don't have a structure or some way to net this and keep the birds out, you won't eat any of your own blueberries. Everything loves berries. So you've got to be prepared for this. It's kind of a big commitment and investment to do a nice bed a system to put some netting over it and then get in there and harvest the things. But if you don't, the birds will beat you to them without doubt. You do have to have two blueberry varieties to pollinate. And in the state of Kentucky, our best option are the high bush blueberries. There are several varieties listed in our publication that are good choices for Kentucky. But keep in mind, if you don't invest in the soil preparation and catering to their needs, they're not likely to succeed. And we see a tremendous number of blue, dead blueberries and we'd like for yours to not be in that group. So keep in mind, if you're willing to go the extra mile, blueberries are an option in Kentucky, but you're going to earn them. You better believe it.